So I'm Joe Johnson, I'm with uh, Kim Urbanowski, and we are now joined by Roger Broder of the Lions Club, who's here to share what uh, they have coming up over the next uh, few months. Uh, Roger, it's uh, obviously been a little difficult the past few years, a lot of events canceled, and uh, now slowly things are returning back to normal. Uh, are you excited about uh, 2022 and the Lions Club? Oh my gosh, I so am, Joe. Thanks for having me here, by sure. the way, to talk about some of what we're doing. And it's last night I put together a list of what's coming up for 2022, and it took me a long time. There's so much happening. I was it was it was exciting for me to know <laughs> that we're actually doing fundraisers and charity events and back to our work that we're supposed to be doing. And you're so dependent on these fundraisers that when uh, COVID shut everything down, I would imagine not just your organization, but charities uh, all over the Orion area were impacted by this. So you're, you're really dependent on these fundraisers. Yeah, absolutely. It's a big part of what we do. We do fundraisers and then we do, what do we do with the money? Now that we've collected it, how do we help people? That's, that's what Lions do, yeah. is help people. So without the fundraisers, it really, stifled what we were able to do but luckily be, before that we had a really good jubilee in june the year before and and we had jubilee at least the carnival in 2021 so we were still able to have some funds coming in just not what we're used to so this year is looking really good and we're really hoping for a lot of support from the community like we've had in the past great so what's uh, next up on the calendar so we always are looking for more help we're looking for more volunteers more members and we have an open house coming up April 13th, 7 o'clock at, um, at uh, Johnny Black's over on Baldwin. Okay. And that's where we have our meetings, the first and third Monday, first and third Wednesday of every month now. And that, that open house should be great. We're looking to get a bunch more members. And the good thing about the Lions Club is you don't have this solid commitment where you have to guarantee so many hours or so many meetings or anything. It's, we always tell people it's, it's, Family, work, then Lions. Mm. The, the Lions are important. It's an important part of, you know, our, as members, it's an important part of our lives, but not as important as our families. Mm -hmm. And so it's, we want help, but we don't want you to ha feel that you can't be a Lion if you can't give 20 hours a week or anything like that. So well, that's, yeah. that's I would important. imagine, too, that even if, even if you had, you know, one person that could give, you know, 20 hours a week, or if you had four people that could, you know, it all adds up. Just it does. The more people, the better, and um, and then it's, you know, more coming We have some members too. that do one event a year, and we right. are thrilled to have them. <laughs> yeah. We're thrilled to have them. So keep that in mind. Open house at Johnny Black's on the 13th. And I know so. uh, a lot of organizations like yours, a problem that they're facing is a lot of their men members are sort of aging out. And so there's a need for younger people to come in. Are you facing yeah, that same dilemma? Absolutely. And it, it seems like that there's not as much volunteerism and, and service-oriented people that there used to be. You know, they, I mean, I grew up always in my family, always helping wherever we could, helping people. It doesn't seem like that's as important to people anymore. But we're looking for people that want to do that, that want to get out there and help others. And so Great. with a lot of things coming up. So. Awesome. And one event that I look forward to, I, I shoot it for our newscast every year, and we take part in it, is the uh, Lake Orion Lions races. Traditionally, they had been held at the Knights of Columbus. That building has been sold and is under new occupation. Uh, so tell us uh, about uh, the upcoming Lions races this year, the changes that are in store, and what can people expect? So, so the Lion races are one of my favorites, not just because I'm the MC and DJ for it. <laughs> But it's, it's a lot of fun. So these lions, we, we sell these to local businesses and they decorate them however they want. We just sell them the, the piece of plywood as a lion. And we line these lions up six, six rows and it's like a horse race. We have big, like two foot square fuzzy dice that we roll. And every time that the dice is rolled, those two numbers, those lions move forward one space. Meanwhile, everybody's making bets. We have horse betting software to set the odds, and, and I'm calling out the races and the winners, and every business gets their name mentioned every time they move forward. And it's just so much fun. People are yelling and screaming and excited to make these bets. It's just a great night. So this year, it's on May, May 7th, and because, like you said, the Knights of Columbus isn't available anymore, 
We're having it at Boulder Point Golf Club up in Oxford. It's really the only place big enough in the area to, to hold the event. And they do, they do a great job with events, so we're looking forward to that. And as you can see, our lion is wearing a medal, meaning uh, he won one of his races. A big winner. It was one of the most proud moments of my life seeing him cross that finish line. So that was a lot of fun, and uh, he'll, he's, he's not put out the stud yet. He's going to race on May 7th. So, yeah. What else you got so, coming up? So coming up, uh, watch for us on the streets, doing our usual white cane sales to raise funds again. Um, we'll be all over the streets of Orion Township and the village. Uh, May 13th through the 22nd, mostly the weekends we get out there in big groups and kind of take over an entire intersection, especially right up the road here at Clarkston and Joslin is one of our key places. So watch for us on the roads for that. Roads for that. What um, I recommend, you know, when I see uh, organizations on the road uh, in traffic and stuff, one thing I, I always wonder is not a lot of people carry cash anymore, and that's got to be a challenge when you're trying to raise money like that. So uh, as that date gets closer, you might want to hit the ATM, mm -hmm. yeah. have maybe a couple of 20s <laughs> in your wallet, right. and uh, make sure you have some cash on you to, to help out these organizations. And uh, Now, the, the Girl Scouts <laughs> have uh, tackled this by accepting credit cards when uh, they're out in front of stores selling they cookies. Do. So they're one step ahead of us. A little, little harder when cars are driving by, but I like the way you think about it. I'll go into the ATM first. There you be go. Ready yeah. for the, so be ready for the 13th and 14th. Wallet. There you go. Um, uh, so and then what's next? Of course, coming up in June is what everybody looks forward to every mm -hmm. summer. And we have the, the Jubilee with our carnival. This year, the beer tent is back, in fact, Somehow I'm in charge of it this year. <laughs> Don't know how I got into that, but I'm running the beer tent this year. We'll have bands. We'll have uh, uh, Kevin, the DJ, on Thursday Thursday evening, and that's the uh, 23rd. And then on the 24th and 25th is the, the uh, beer tent with bands. Of course, the night of the 25th is our fireworks at 10 o'clock at night. And uh, again, the beer tent is a great place. We have an area set outside where you can see right over the buildings looking out toward greens park and a good place to watch the fireworks yeah so long time tradition up. here in lake orion oh at least 80 years or so yeah there really? was a period of time when uh the streets of downtown lake orion were under construction and the jubilee had to move yeah. over to uh, mm -hmm. the Canterbury Village and uh, right. you, I think the event suffered a little bit from that new location and I was so happy to see it return to downtown it's Lake Orion where it belongs mm -hmm. and now with the beer tent returning uh, we should have the it's, best event it's ever. It's going to be a great year. It's going to yeah. be a great year. We're going to have perfect weather every day that was already <laughs> guaranteed to us. So we should be set there. Ah, such but a fun. And I've heard people describe it as a reunion where people come back from wherever they yep. may have traveled to and come back to Lake Orion and celebrate with friends and family in downtown Lake you Orion. You see a lot of people that you don't see on a regular basis. Yeah. yeah. People come out of the woodwork, so it's fun. And at, also at, at the uh, Jubilee, we're also going to have our Project Kids site tent set up. And that's really cool because we get... We take kids and, and their parent in with, into the tent with them. We just have a camera mm -hmm. that from a distance, a few feet away, we can take a picture of a kid's eyes and give them a report about, uh, it measures a, a whole bunch of different aspects of their eyes and can tell them if they have any trouble, we can refer them then to a doctor. And uh, we do hundreds of kids a year. In fact, every um, first Saturday of every month, we have kids' sites set up at the Orion Township Library. Oh wow! So oh, wow. yeah, from I think it's from 10 to 10 to 12, first Saturday of every month. So, wow. and they're they're doing you know 15, 20 kids every Saturday at the library. So that's great. It's been wonderful. Yeah, I remember. I think it was like third grade. We had someone come into our elementary school and says, "Anyone having trouble seeing the chalkboard?" And I raised yeah. my hand and got tested and yeah. wearing glasses ever since. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we used to have, um, when we had the, the shop local expo mm. for the chamber, you all, all mm -hmm. always had that booth right there underneath the stairs where it was nice and quiet right. and you could do that. Um, uh, so I guess, can I go back for just a little, yeah. little bit for yeah. those who are watching that may not know, like the the purpose behind all of this? I mean, I, you, we've got the white cane and we've got the kids site. So um, is that the main focus of, of what the Lions Club does? So a lot of that is is fundraisers. That's a lot of what we have to do in order to support our, our charity work. Mm -hmm. um, 
most people in town are familiar with the Christmas basket program. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every year, a week before Christmas, we distribute food to a little over 200 families or households. And the whole community takes part in delivering that food and organizing it and shopping. Mm -hmm. And we have gifts as well. So that's part of where our funds go. Um, we have a Christmas party for developmental, developmentally impaired kids mm -hmm. at the Pine Tree School. Um, that's a lot of fun. They, we have Santa and, mm. and elves there, and Mrs. Santa, and uh, San, Mrs. Claus, <laughs> Mrs. Santa. Santa. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a lot of fun for everybody, including us. Um, of course, Leader Dogs for the Blind was right. started by Lions mm. many years ago, back in the 1920s. Um, uh, we, we provide eyeglasses and hearing aid uh, for those who need those. and. Um, and can't get them themselves. Um, just a lot of different things that we we take part in. That you know, even uh, within our own township, um, we have scholarships for high school students. We support some of the, the baseball teams. Um, the uh, robotics first robotics at we just had the first robotics team from Walden Elementary come to our. Or Walden Middle School, sorry. <laughs> right, right. Come to our Lions Club and tell us about what they do. Yeah. It, it's pretty amazing what these robotics teams do. They oh, brought sure. the robot with them and gave us a whole presentation about it. It was yeah. wonderful. So. You guys are doing so much good in the community. Yeah. And, you know, every year I'm at the Christmas basket program shooting video, and it's it's just a well-oiled machine. Like, it's like a bunch of ants. Like, just <laughs> all, they all know their job. They all know their role, and everything's moving and going out the door. And it's just amazing to see year after year. It's a lot of fun. We're getting yeah. we're getting good at it. Yeah, finally. right. <laughs> and, and keep in mind this year, another great event coming back we haven't had in the last two years is the auction before Christmas. So, oh, that's right. Yeah, we'll, we'll have that back at the Malash dealership at the Palace and uh, lo really looking forward to that being bigger and better than ever. So, And they donate that space and take care of the overhead and, and all that stuff. The family's wonderful so, to the Lions. Yeah. Always have been, yes. Yeah, so your expenses are minimal for that auction and a yes. lot of a lot of the uh, silent auction stuff comes in from local businesses yeah. and things like that. Yeah, so. the businesses in this town uh, just tremendous. Yeah, we I get agree. so much help. They are so generous with the whole community. It's 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 great to be here. Kind of have it's to really bat them fun. away. They're so excited to participate. Yeah. Whenever we need help, we you know we'll put a message out on Facebook or something, and the response is overwhelming. No matter what we're trying to do, no matter what we need help with. Fantastic. So we're really happy to be here. Do you want to give out any contact information if anyone needs to reach out to the Lions? Just head on out to head out over to the Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Um, or you can go to the, our website, lakeorientlines.org, and it's a little out of date. I haven't updated it in a while, but uh, the contact information is all there. But the Facebook page is the best place. Just go like our page, and you'll get updates on everything. All these events for the whole year are up there. You can see that, and I put posts up. I'll put, this, put your videos up on a regular basis from on TV. So important things that are happening around the township that we want to promote as being good for the township and we'll, we'll get it all up on Facebook so all right. keep well, an eye I'll out there spread the word thanks okay. for coming out today and